In my planning stages of living a nomadic lifestyle, it's imperative for me to consider everything. The biggest question is, can I afford it? The second biggest question is, what's a nomad? (laughs) Where I live, in a trailer park, the new management company is doing what every other management company is doing in their manufactured housing communities. They're jacking up the lot rents. A lot. They're no longer affordable to people seeking affordable housing. That's one of the main reasons I'm thinking about seriously throwing in the towel on sticks and bricks living, if you will. Their goal is to increase lot rents into the $600 range and beyond. So if you look at 600 bucks a month for lot rent, 150 for electric and water, another 100 bucks or more for gas, and don't forget the phone and the internet and whatever else you subscribe to for your entertainment needs, it's going to get expensive. Add to that auto insurance, yearly auto registration, food, various other personal needs. The cost to exist is well in excess of 1000 bucks a month. To live like this, I simply exist, but that's about it. There are no real finances for travel or vacation. For over 60 years, I tried to live a typical life. For 30 years, I tried being a father and a husband, twice, but that didn't work out. Losing everything on two occasions was difficult on me financially. It didn't help that I never really held a job for more than a few years. I was busy trying to run my own business. My business did fairly well, but I never really managed to amass much of a savings, and what I did amass was lost in divorce. But I'm not here to bellyache about the past. It is what it is. What it is, is I don't want to die trying to live, trying to tread water, trying to pay bills, and simply just exist. Now that two-thirds of my life is over with, I feel a need to do a little more than living while I can. And no, I don't want to live in a van down by the river. If you're a snot-nosed social media influencer yapping about the trending van lifestyle, I really don't care about your BS. Many of you are doing your YouTube videos to get viewers to help fund your lifestyle, piling up subscribers and likes so YouTube will see you as a viable marketing tool so YouTube can subject viewers like me to commercials. I hate commercials. That's not why I'm here. I'm here to learn as well as inform. The hard part is wading through all of the crap on YouTube. Your typical influencer has a cat or a dog. Worse yet, cats and dogs. My rule of thumb, if I'm going to feed it, I'm going to eat it. I'll pass on the dander, the poop, the fleas, the vet bills. Your typical YouTube van lifer has a fallback because they are snot-nosed twerps. Mom and dad are back at home and When they realize that they want to poop in a real toilet or they want to take a shower every day, their folks are back home waiting for them. I don't have that luxury. And frankly, I don't want to live in a van. Van lifers say setting up and tearing down is a breeze. But if you plan on staying a few weeks or months at a time, it's nice not having to drive your own home every time you want to go somewhere. If you actually live in your domain You're going to need space for your stuff. You're not going to have that in your van life. Here's where you have to decide what van life means to you. If you have a backup plan, sticks and bricks, or a mommy and daddy to go back to, van life would be awesome. But I'm grown up. And living with my parents is not a choice. Not having power tools, camping gear, fishing, kayak, music equipment, electronics. How about a full kitchen? A large bed, toilet, shower, all of the personal necessities? I'm going to need that. So what is a nomad? I ask, is a nomad pooping in a bucket, crawling around in your van, living on rations in the desert? Yeah, I suppose that would be one definition. But does it have to be the only definition? Hell no. At this point in my planning stage, I'm certainly naive. 
But I'm getting to the point where I know what I want and I don't want. Van life is not appealing to me. I don't want to wander the country constantly sightseeing. That's not a priority for me. Getting somewhere warm in the winter is a goal. Spending time with family and friends is important to me. It is. Not having to be permanently affixed to terra firma anymore would be nice. Owning land has always been a ridiculous concept for me to wrap my mind around. In the blink of an eye, we will all be done. We can never own land, but eventually it will own us. And then now, here at the end of my video, the absurd plea, please like and subscribe. Don't do, you don't have to do that. This is just me thinking out loud. But if you do want to contribute, there are some links somewhere here on my channel. If not, I understand. Thanks for checking in. Mm -hmm.